okay well then how can you eligible for this uh, karnataka iti i4 okay i will explain all details related to karnataka admissions okay okay this is the most importance for all students okay those who st candidates uh, think you are eligible for iti karnataka iti in this okay i will explain all details related to karnataka admissions okay in this video and easy way this is easy way for all students okay let me check all details okay from where i uh, confirmed it okay right this is documents uh, this is the official website of is paper where you can check all related details is this uh, exclusive website okay this is an exclusive website and official website where you can check all related details of karnataka iti admissions okay how can you check your uh, how can you find your application form where you where where is releasing okay uh, important date what is the important dates of application form what is the importance of uh, date okay important dates schedule date okay schedule admission schedule eligibility criteria how can you eligible for uh, uh, karnataka iti iti in this iti okay you know iti industrial training institutes okay uh, that's it the department of industrial training and employment karnataka this is the conducting body where this you can call uh, you can call also official website of uh, name okay and uh, you can see the logo of department of industrial training and employment karnataka uh, is this conducting authority and uh, conducting authority of emptrg karnataka iti and this institutes offer admissions to candidates in engineering and non engineering courses in the various government and private industrial and training institutes iti's of karnataka state admission will provide to the students this uh, admission will offer to the students based on the their uh, eligibility criteria and those applicant are interested and eligible to the get admission in the in this institutes they can fill application form okay here through this article students will get details information on karnataka iti admissions okay so let's uh, see the all details let's no all details okay so some some highlights okay you should know some highlights so what is the, your exam name what is the full form of exam name okay karnataka iti is, this is your exam name okay what is the full form of exam karnataka iti karnataka industrial technical institutes okay what is the exam level this is the your exam level is state level of exam okay and uh, what is the type of exam diploma type conducting body diploma of sorry department of industrial training and employment in karnataka and this is your conducting body application mode uh, online mode on this uh, online mode releasing okay on, on online mode you can check application dates uh, will avail will be available okay when uh, officially when officially release the date okay you can check the official website and uh, what is a uh, notification what is the uh, instructions for application forms okay helpline number you can uh, if you have any queries if you have any doubts related to karnataka iti okay so uh, so you can you can ask him you can ask him. okay okay let's know you should know uh, admission date okay this is the important dates okay right Wha you can see uh, left right left left and right right side uh, you can see the dates announcement and left side you can see the events okay when your application form available on date no date no release okay but uh, this is already released okay final date of application form uh, date of application documents of verifications tentative rank rank, rank list declarations final merit list when release you can see see the you can check the dates when you're uh, releasing date when your uh, display date okay you can see uh, right side column okay 
Okay, yeah. second one is your uh, application form. Application form, what is the application form? Application form in this application form, uh, when he students uh, think about uh, admission, okay. So, this is the most important process, application form process. Okay, this is the filling process. Okay, in this uh, application form, your all details uh, fill. Okay, your all details in this form you have to fill the all details your uh, themselves by submitting the requirement details okay applicant should have to register themselves and after the submitting the application form details students will get the registrations id and password to fill the application form and log in the application form in this future in this uh okay next one is your future after the that they have to fill all the requirement details okay in the application form they have to select their the preferred courses they have to upload their requirement documents in the application form candidate have to take print out of the application form for the future use okay this is the your application form process you need to follow it okay right okay okay next one is your eligibility criteria applicant can fill the application form of their appear courses based on your eligibility criteria and the eligibility criteria details have been mentioned below what is the mention below candidate should be qualified 10th or 12th class from recognized university any institutes uh, any boards of you qualified yeah you are eligible for iti karnataka the minimum age of your uh, students of minimum age what is the minimum age 14 year okay so you you are eligible for karnataka iti for admission okay there is no upper age limit karnataka iti for admissions okay engineering or non engineering qualifications are uh, students must have to ma mathematics and science subjects in the qualification exam for engineering courses okay if you are applying for engineering courses students must have to uh, mathematics and uh, science subject is the important in compulsory subject you take in in uh, 12th class 11th or 12th okay uh, candidate should have to a uh, domicile certificate of the current state okay you should have you should have domicile certificate of the state karnataka state valid okay reserve category candidate must have a category candidate certificate for seeking relaxing okay, merit list karnataka merit list has been declared and those students will qualified in their qualification examinations they have be shortlisted in the merit list and check their name mentioned in the merit list available on the official website the merit list students will call out of for counseling procedure so it's a easy way okay okay so in this merit list this uh, where uh, releasing date where your releasing platform of the official website of karnataka iti okay there uh, you can check your merit list if you mention if your name mentioned in the merit list so you you should complete your counseling process okay in this what is the counseling process in this counseling process what happened will uh, documents verifications okay so okay next one is your karnataka process okay karnataka seat allotment okay the seat will be allotted in the students after the shortlisting in the merit list those students have uh, allotted they will get the allotment later through authority and the students should have to carry their the allotment later at the uh, at the time of counseling center along with the requirement documents take it and uh, allotment letter can be downloaded from the official website students uh, should have to follow the next admission procedure after the getting the seat allotment later okay Karnataka ITI seat allotment Karnataka ITI seat reservations okay so you can seek the seat reservations what is the seat reservations vertical reservations category 
check your check your category or uh, columns and uh, reservations applicable okay sc gm st uh, okay check your uh, reservations verticals horizontal reservations you can see the horizontal reservation counseling process in this counseling process those applicant will shortlisted in the merit list they will be called out of out for the counseling procedure okay okay right documents what what uh, what they are the need documents for verifications allotment letter domicile certificates birth certificates and uh, ssc 12 certificate living certificate address proof certificate two passport size photographs there is the all documents is the very need very needed process for verification process okay so if you have any queries if you have any doubts so you can type on this uh, comment box sections comment sections so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video so uh, like what you are doing like my video and uh, if you are new in this channel in this video so subscribe my channel for for uh, related to karnataka iti admissions okay in in this channel i will uh, publishing i will upload it my channel okay karnataka iti related to admissions details iti details have anything about the related of karnataka for uh, if you want to check all details related to karnataka iti subscribe my channel subscribe fast come on fast okay and uh, thank you so much for watching my video thank you very much